Vasilevsky for EA Sports. The Coyotes are set to howl on the ice tonight here in Arizona. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Minnesota's on the attack. What a steal in his own end. Sits it in front, and that's intercepted. And he takes the feed. Oh, did you hear that? That was a car crash out there. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Goes right to the crease. Oh, a clutch save. Johns has created some energy for his team, making a huge stop and taking away a critical scoring chance. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. Line change. Dumps it into the Ozone. Quick feed to Michael. Arizona's got the puck in the defensive end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Salani's got it into offensive territory. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Sends the feed in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Minnesota's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this. Already the first goal of the game, and just try to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done, and that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone, you control the pace of and you find a way to get on the board first. And he's going to slow things down and hang on for the whistle and the fans on their feet. But yeah, as he covers up, everyone knows the save that he just made and the opportunity he presented for his team and everyone getting a standing ovation. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Champions won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Solani. Moves it quickly over to Eric Sinek. Looking to make something happen along the board. The Coyotes have it behind the net. Through center. And he loses control here. They put the puck into the offensive end. John steals one with that incredible save, James, and his team knows it. You can see him puff out his chest. He's playing with a little bit of swagger now, and everyone in front of him knows that they got to energize. they got to elevate their game. Minnesota's looking to break out. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Rossi's so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately, this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Absolutely rocks him on the play, and that sends a message to the bench. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Tremendous use of the body on the play. Arizona's across the blue line. Routine pass saved made by Dubnik. Dubnik's post-to-post -post zone ability means he can read those cross-crease chances, stay with the play, and come up with the stop. And they win the draw on their own end. Here's a short pass to Hartman. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Arizona's got possession of the puck. Minnesota's grabbed a hold of the puck. Denies it in front.
midway mark in this period. We got a one nothing game to this point. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. That opportunity is rejected. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Yeah, they didn't like that. They're dropping the mitts. You have to drop the mitts when you hit their star player. You know he's not going to fight. So who comes in? A physical guy who knows how to drop the gloves and win it. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. Looks like the emotions have settled down. They've got calm back on the ice, and let's get this puck dropped once again. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing. He scores! in practice, a quick snapshot. Well, he can't get set to position in time, and it winds up in the back of the net. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. The Coyotes get a hold of the draw. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Denies him in close. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Arizona's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Dubnik's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Champions got a reputation for being strong in the faceoff dots, guys. That's his quick draw zone ability, and it's how he can win puck possession. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Well, this is a primetime clinic on how to own the puck. I mean, they're managing it, and they are playing with it at will in the offensive zone. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the face-off. After that last shift change where they really press, they want to continue right there, get punched to the net because this goaltender will not run a battle net front. He's outworked already. Cole can pick the pass as it goes off the stick. Puck is frozen and will be face-off. Past the halfway mark of this period, it's all tied up. The Coyotes win it. Denies him on the play. And Ross has got to find a way to physically and emotionally engage with all of his fist chains. And you know how effective and how valuable he is when he's on the ice. I mean, look at that scoring chance he just generated. Gets it back. Moves the pass in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dubnik. Arizona's got it from behind the net. Gabrick's got the puck in his own zone. Sends the pass over. Play is called for offside. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a faceoff is ready to go. The Coyotes win the draw here in the neutral zone. Here they come. Till the left side on the attack. Handles the pass. Steps inside the line. And the puck leaves the zone. Carries it into the offensive end of the middle. Jostled off the puck. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Vanek. Oh, so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Now oh, the big rig is denied as the power forward drives the net, shielding the puck, but the tendy makes a huge save. Puck scooped up 
by Solani. Now he takes it over the line. And they keep the pressure on. And he does, yet again. The Coyotes take the one goal lead here in the first. Uh, and if I'm the coach, I'm telling them to keep going. Be aggressive, stay on the puck, especially after you score a goal head goal. You got them back on their heels. You got to attack. He got all of that one. Nash has crossed the line and is on the attack now. Minnesota's got the puck. Moves it to Bogosian. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Wow. is trying to find a way to get back to the bench and not put his team in a vulnerable spot. You can see that he's been injured somewhere on the shift. He's laboring and he's rinsing, but he's committed to the play. He's got to find the appropriate moment to get off. Here in the late goings of the period, Arizona's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrubbed up. He moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, he stops him with the clock. Great reflexes there. The Coyotes are holding down the lead here late in this first period. They have looked really good offensively so far. Puck is dropped. He wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Denies him! Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Johns has it and freezes the play. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off, ready to resume play. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back in the morning. Walk down memory lane, then join us for our fantasy game. Play hockey with your childhood heroes. It's a fun filled week full of memories. You can call us right now. Weber's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. He just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Arizona's through center right now in the offensive end. Turned aside with a glove by Dudnik. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. The Coyotes will go to work here in the offensive side. Turns that one away. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Arizona's been very active offensively here early in the second period, and they continue to lead. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Stick technology is so different today. He doesn't need a huge wind-up to get this long-range wrister off. It is on and off his stick, and it makes its way to the net. But the goaltender steers it aside. Dots, we're ready to get things back going again. Erickson X won the draw there on the attack. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. The Coyotes take possession of the neutral zone. And a stiff break set up. Solid check to slow him down. Pucks it away in his own end. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. The Coyotes take possession in the defensive end. 
forces the turnover in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Minnesota's gained possession. Looking for space inside the D zone. Steps into the offensive end. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Put it off the post! Johns freezes the puck and opts for the whistle. Arizona's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. And they win the draw here in their own end. Drives it to the crease! Fires it! And he was ready for that save! Whoa. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Taken by Hartman. Here's a chance! Comes up with the stop! I think he got a blocker on that one! John's really aggressive and challenging, and when you do that, you find a way to get to position quick, and you can deflect the pucks to the corner just like that. He made that one look easy. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's 2-1. Arizona's won the draw. Here's a chance! Denied by Dubnik! Tries to feed it over to Chris. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And Ross lugging the puck. And it's a quick pass to Cullen. Receives the pass. And that's deflected off someone in front. Feeds the puck over to Vanek. And now it's grabbed by Eriksson X. Denied that one. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender ooh, does a great job of making it happen. Michaels won the faceoff. Tries to get it to Silverberg. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. The Barks tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick, and he lost possession. Shot! Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Hammers it on net. Tremendous glove save by Dubnik. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Here in the back half of this period, Arizona's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it on over to Rossi. And he slides it quickly to Gabarik. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck. Oh, he'll feel that one. Takes a shot. And that's blocked from someone in front. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Keller's got it along the boards. That's a solid check on the play. Drills him. Centering pass. Oh, what a chance, and that goes off target. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Quick feed to Enroth. Passes over to Solani. Cuts into the paint. Good use of the body on the play. Looks to pass it to Middleton. Sends it over to Solani. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Quick pass to Eric Sinek. Gives them nothing in front. He's got a gift to read and anticipate the play. And when he drops into that butterfly position, not only is he as big as possible and covers the top half, but he's agile enough to slide across to cover the lower half. Crosser's got the puck along the wing. Regains control here in the neutral zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Sends it ahead to Solani. Uses the force on that hit. Minnesota's in now. Shot! Stop off the post! Minnesota's been working hard, and they're still in the game here. Yes, they hit the pipe.
pipe and it went out. But they're still a game. They have to fight right to the end. The Coyotes continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Nash has got it across the line. Rocked him along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Johansson. Gains the zone through center. Shot, and he comes up with the save. Feeds it across the ice to Voracek. Can't keep a hold of it. Trying to get back on the attack now. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Here's a shot. Minnesota's got the puck. He might have a step here. He's in. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Puck moved over to Michael. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Minnesota's up against a hot goaltender, James, and you know when the goaltender's feeling it, you're going to have to... Trying to shake the defender. What a stop on the breakaway. A chance, and that goes off a player. Here's a short pass to Eric Sash. Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Coaches always say, take away the eyes of the goaltender, and this is exactly why you can see him trying to find the puck at every corner, reaching around bodies up and down, but he can't find this puck, and it winds up in the back of the net. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Champions quick stick lands on the puck here at center. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Excellent stick work on the play. Big hit, and that frees up possession. The Coyotes are on the attack. The Wilds have taken possession of their own end. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Oh, the bench gets such a boost when he scores, so that's such a timely stop by the goaltender. Doesn't allow any energy to be created. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Into the offensive end now. Sends the pass down low. Moves it to Spurgeon. And he's ridden off the puck. Scrum along the boards. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Great four check by Boldy. Quick feed to Kane. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Nice feed at center moves up ahead now. And that's off a stick. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, uh, he knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah, he made an 
incredible save and really engage this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Still lots of time left in the period. We are all tied up in this one. Erickson X won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. The Coyotes gain possession. Here they come. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. Arizona's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Slides the puck over. Sensational stop by Dubnik. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Across the line. Puts it on the Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal. And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Well, two things need to happen to execute a one-timer perfectly. You have to have the pass and you have to have the time. You can't be over-anxious. That's the first thing. And second thing, you can't over-rotate. He's perfect with both and he finds the back of the net. Minnesota's gone up by one here in this third period. A great spot to be in. You have the lead at the end of the third period. You got to find a way to hold it, though. You don't want to play too conservative. The reason why you got the goal is you were aggressive and on your toes. Tosses it to Solani. The feed. Oh, big time save by Dubnik. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Dubnik's given his team a chance to win in this game, guys. He's competed hard, and I will really like his performance in this matchup. And it's turned aside by Dubnik. Kaprizov's carrying it ahead. Puck picked up by Eriksson Ek. Sends a pass oh. over. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. The Coyotes have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Dismiss that chance. Man, is he ever known for this. When he drops into that butterfly positioning, he makes himself as big as possible. So tough to beat because there is no net available. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got to hold him it against the wall. Driving right to the front. And there's the save. Into the corner of the attacking area. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Takes the pass. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. And now it's to Rossi. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Quick pass to Rossi. Scores! Oh, what a finish! Too sweet! Well, the reaction on the bench, it says it all, James. I, I mean, this is their fearless leader who provides a ton of energy to this group. The timeliness of the goal, the energy that he brings, and encapsulates what he means to this team. Well, timing is everything, and this guy knows that he needs to be an emotional barometer for this team, and that goal sends a jolt right through the entire bench. You can see them all up on their feet. They got some newfound energy now. Well past the midway mark of this period. Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. 
Moves it quickly over to Kraus. Off after the puck hops into the bench. The Borks out for the remainder of the game, James, with that injury he suffered earlier. We've just received word from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Slides it quickly to Keller. In minute here in this third. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but look at that hit and it just took me off guard. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. There's the physical side. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies and that one's perfectly executed. Huge hit against the glass. I love the physicality in this game, but now there's going to be a stoppage in play. Hey, James, as that glass, it is broken. Arizona's been very active offensively tonight, but they just have not been able to finish on their scoring chances here late in the third. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Big save just as time runs out. And that'll do it from ringside here. Minnesota's offense came out like gangbusters, then they kind of tucked that away and just kind of defended the rest of the night. Yeah, I think the offense dried up because they're on their heels a little bit, and there were some nervous moments out there, but they got the win anyways because they did protect the lead. Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey, and for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James, she's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.